Hallelujah. If it didn't take you out the first time, you have already overcome. And sometimes to find him, you have to get into the Word to see that he's still there and he's there with you. You got to understand that you have been recognized by God as being likened unto a pure gold. Praise the Lord, you have just tuned in to the Best Is Yet To Come broadcast, brought to you from the beautiful sanctuary of Chicagoland Christian Center and World Outreach Ministries, located at 929 East 103rd Street in Chicago. Taught by Dr. Marshall Davis, pastor of Chicagoland Christian Center, along with Prophetess Catherine Davis, God has a fresh anointed word for you today. Prepare your heart and get ready to receive a dynamic word from God. Be encouraged. The best is yet to come. Here in, in Mark 5, starting with 25, it says a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years. Say she had an issue with blood. Okay, but look at your, yourself and just look down you and say, what you got an issue with? So whatever issue you got, that's the one you need to work on. Okay, look at somebody and say, I'm getting ready to change in just a minute. And verse 26 says, and had suffered many things of many physicians. Or they had been tricking her. Because they suffered things of many physicians. It was almost like the physicians was giving her prescription that didn't even pertain to what her issue was. Hallelujah. No wonder you can't get well. You listen to people that's giving you a prescription for what's going to solve your problem and they practicing on you. And then it said and had spent all that she had and was nothing better, but grew worse. Is your situation growing worse? Uh, Y'all talk back to me. Ask somebody. Look at them. Don't be scared to look at them. I got them. I got you covered. Look at somebody and turn around. Look at somebody and say, uh, 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 is it? Now let's get to verse 27. See, because when we read this, I want you, I want you to take home another view about this lady. So you could take another view home about you. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garments. Because faith cometh by hearing. Faith for anything comes by hearing. If you want to hear about God, faith comes by hearing by the word of God. If you want to hear by anything else, if you want to hear about money, you can't hear about God. Because you and I are the one that make the money, not God. If you ain't got no money, it's because you ain't printed none. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at some <laughs> and say, you got to print some. 
So she came in behind the press and touched his garment. Now it would seem like that she just did that spontaneously. But as we read on, we're going to find out that she had heard about him way before she got to him. Before he even came to town. Because after she had been taken advantage of by the doctors, somebody told her about Jesus. Here in the 28th verse, for she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be what? Oh, uh, Jesus said, if anybody come touch my clothes. That was Jesus talking to her, right? Oh, she was, she said it. Okay, let me take you back. You ain't saying nothing. Mm. Uh, Y'all ain't get me yet. Y'all still up here looking at me? You ain't saying nothing. Jesus didn't tell her to say that. Jesus didn't tell her to touch him. Because we're going to read about what Jesus said about her touching him. So what took place was she came to the place where she said, if I may just but touch for she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I'll be, oh, Woo. you make me want to. Whoa, 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 whoa. She said, if I touch his clothes, listen to what she said, because we're going to say Jesus agreeing with her. So she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I'll be made whole. She didn't say I'll be healed. I flip out this chair. She didn't say she was going to be healed. She said, I'll be made whole. She was broke. She didn't have no money. She spent it all with the doctors. And I would imagine some soothsayers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell the truth. Hallelujah. Now listen, when she said, Whole is everything, right? Listen to what 29 said. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. She spoke wholeness. And it included everything. And when it included everything, Blood couldn't stay running. My God. My God. And she felt her body that she was healed of the plague. But that ain't what she decreed.
She said, I don't want to just have dried blood up and then I'm still broke. Come on now. So here in 30, and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? Why would he even say, who touched my clothes in a crowd? Even the disciples said to him, there's so many people around here trying to get to you, and you talking about who touched you. Her decree is what touched him. Because she said, if I can but touch his clothes, I'll be made whole. So the process started. When she said that, the process of wholeness said blood. I got to clear the blood. The process said, since you broke, I got to give you some money. Yeah. The process, y'all not, y'all like, no, no. Yeah, Look at somebody and said, uh, I, I, are you speaking the process? <laughs> and his disciples said unto him, sit thou a throne with the multitude. How in the world can you say somebody touched you? And he looked around about to see her that had done. He turned around to see her that had done. Oh, y- y'all didn't read it. Y'all didn't read it. I- let me sit down because y'all didn't read it. He turned around to see her that had done this thing. How you call it? This, wait a minute. So let me take you back. You remember when Mary conceived? When she conceived, the angel dealt with her conception as a thing. Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't shouting with me. Uh, so guess what? It wasn't nothing but a thing to Jesus. Who did this thing? See, when you did, when, when you get yourself together and you get your tongue right, it ain't gonna be nothing but a thing. You'll start telling people it ain't nothing but a thing. I'm almost through. And he said unto her, daughter. He didn't say woman. She was described from the beginning as a woman. Now that she touched him and was made whole, she became a daughter. Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Because she said, when I touch him, I'm going to be made whole. She said it first. Jesus agreed with her. Hallelujah. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. And that's no worries. 
So she couldn't have been worried about money. And be thou, and be, be whole to thy, of thy, what? Listen to this. Whatever your situation is, it's keeping, let me tell you something. This, this here uh, illness that I've been through, okay, amen. I've been, I've been coming in here in the, in the, um, in, 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 in the wheelchair, you know. Uh, and, and I felt like, you know, um, that was my security. Because whenever it was that I was in the wheelchair, I was, um, I, 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 had to, I had more lordship. You got to watch yourself when you get in the lordship. I didn't, I didn't. Uh, I would tell people to do things for me. Pull me over there. Pull me over there. Turn me around back here. But when I got on this walker, I couldn't tell nobody walk me over here. I had to, I had to take responsibility. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, you need to start taking responsibility for your life. 